what is RPM? Cross-platform solutions where you write tests for multiple platforms. So you can write tests for Android, Windows and iOS. There is no dependency on mobile device OS. It supports multiple languages. It allows execution on actual devices and simulators. Correct. Philosophy for RPM. Test what you release, any language, any framework, standard API and open source. So if you can see that, this is what I have mentioned to you as well. RPM uses vendor provided automation framework. This requires no compilation of the application. This means you are testing exactly the same application without any changes for the test automation to work. So what happens is RPM interacts with the UI automator by Google. It interacts with the XC test by Apple. It interacts with the window app driver from Microsoft. And that's how it can automate all three platforms in one go. Appium uses Selenium WebDriver APIs for all the frameworks. Appium uh, WebDriver works on client server protocol that is JSON via protocol for communication. One can use any this to write your test cases what client libraries are available. One can use any unit testing framework so if you want SAG, JUnit or anything like that you can go ahead and use it. Appium extends WebDriver and provides additional APIs specific to the mobile test automation. So of course that's that's a valid uh, you know step here that's a valid point that when you use RPM when you use RPM library it gives you some added classes added methods which is specific to the mobile automation that is swipe because in mobiles you do swiping tap because in mobiles you do tapping so there are many things which are specific to the mobile apps which is being provided by RPM library. Selenium WebDriver is widely adopted in the market for test automation and this reduces the learning curve for testers. Because you know Selenium WebDriver now, you can easily switch to Appium because there is not much with what you need to learn. WebDriver is also W3 standard. Appium is an open source framework which is the best part. There is a large community contributing to its enhancements. Absolutely. So even if you face any issues, you will get an answer easily from anyone from the community. You know, there is a very big community of this Appium. There is a good support from vendors as well, Apple, Microsoft and Google. So of course, you know, they will always keep their automation tools up to date and that somewhere help you out itself. Correct? Because Google, as Google launches their new operating system, they will make sure that their tool, which is used for the automation or for the testing purpose, it works perfectly fine with the new operating system. So you know, the dependency that as soon as like here uh, in Selenium, we'll always have to see, we'll always have to make sure that our Selenium libraries are up to date with the Firefox version, you know, uh, with the Jekko drivers and all those stuff. But here, everything is on Google. If they are launching a new browser, they should have their automation tools updated. So there is a good support from vendors. How the Appium works, like I mentioned here. So Appium acts as a server that implements WebDriver. So Appium is a server here. It is written in Node.js. Test scripts were, are executed by sending HTTP request to Appium server using JSON via protocol. So here some way or the other, they are using Selenium Grid. Some way or the other, they are using traces of Selenium Grid. Because what will happen, or if I had not say it as Selenium Grid, and if you have heard of Selenium RC remote control, this is how what the philosophy they are following actually. Because your script sends the commands to Appium server, which converts that command, which is acceptable by the phone devices. And this is what your remote control server used to do earlier, you know, back. Results are sent back to client post execution. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.